previously on Survivor Roleplay. Penny, how did you get on? Penny? What's the matter? He's gone. Gone? Who's gone? Flitch. I went to visit him in the hospital, and that's when they told me. Flitch has escaped from hospital. <laughs> that sounds just like him. No. Flitch suffered from internal bleeding. He's died. What? The tractor is definitely leaking fuel. You can see it dripping onto the ground. The fuel gauge hasn't really changed though, so it's only leaking a very small amount, and it only seems to be leaking when the engine's running. So let's go and take it up to Penny. I don't know if she's going to be able to look at it straight away, but I'll take it to her, see what she thinks, get a price to get it repaired. It's nice that we don't have to go very far to get our tractors repaired anymore. And I'm always giving Penny work, although I think she's quite busy despite recent events. Yes, very, very uh, sad, you could say. Uh, is she here? Yeah, she's here. Hi, Penny. Got a problem with this tractor. It's leaking diesel. Let me take a look. Yes, I can see the problem. The return line from the injectors has perished. I should be able to fit a new one for you today. Brilliant, thank you. I still can't get over what happened to Flitch. <laughs> Terrible. I know we didn't like him, but what happened to him was tragic, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. You're right. The police are investigating the accident. I just hope my business is not put in a bad light. Why should it be? You didn't do anything wrong. I know that, but you know how stories can get twisted. <laughs> yeah, that's true. With busybodies. Oh, sorry, excuse me, Penny. Peter, how you doing? Alright, Wynn, got a bit of a problem here. One of my trailers is just tipped over. A trailer's tipped over? Yeah, you know how it is. Busy time, trying to get the silage in. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> do you need my help? Because my tractor's just currently out of action. Oh, no, that's alright. What I need is my JCB. Can you go and get it from the yard? We need to scoop up this spilled chaff. And also, ideally upright the trailer. Of course, Peter, yeah. I'll be, uh, uh, half an hour, if that's alright. Not a problem. Thanks, Wynn. Alright, Peter. Sorry, Penny. Who was that? Peter. He's overturned his tractor. What? That's awful! Well, his trailer. He's overturned his trailer. Trying to get the, uh, maze done quickly. End of season. Anyway, i better go and help him, but... Thanks again for looking at my tractor. That's quite alright. It's my job after all. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back later to pick both of you up. Both of us? You and the tractor. We live together now, unless you want to sleep here tonight. Oh, I see what you mean. No, I want to go home tonight. Should we pick up a takeaway later? It'll save cooking. Yeah, of course. Your choice. I think I fancy a pizza. Pizza it is. So that would be hot and spicy for me and... Uh, cheese and tomato for you? No! I knew I'd get that wrong. Just kidding. Yes, cheese and tomato for me. Oh, Penny, I'll get you back for that. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. Bye, Win. See you, Penny. Okay, yeah, I didn't get a price, of course, there, but... I trust Penny. She's never going to rip me off, so, uh, yeah. It's going to be far cheaper than taking it to another dealership. Especially if the closest dealership now is in the next town. This town doesn't have one. I'm not too sure what's happening. I haven't even really been to study. All I know is it's boarded up. So anyway, yeah, I've still got my Land Rover, so we'll get over to Peter's farm with the Land Rover, and we'll go and get the JCB, which I'm hoping is at his farm. All right. Yeah, it's a robust thing, this. I don't know why Dennis doesn't like it. It's never let me down. In fact, it's even been to the bottom of a lake, thanks to Dennis. Yep. And uh, got a bit of a large bill for the repair work, but it's still going. No matter what you throw at it. 
But the good news is all of our fields are cultivated. It's now December and we are just really waiting now for the spring to get these fields drilled. So yeah, as soon as it is spring, we will be into all these fields, drilling them like there's no tomorrow because we might only get a small window depending on the weather to do everything. And I'm planning on uh, getting a big drill. We'll just get a big drill. We'll, we'll just blast through all the fields and do them. One field has been done. But yeah, it's only one small field. We have quite a few. Well, here we are, Peter's farm, and I have not passed Peter on my travels or an overturned tractor and trailer. So I can only imagine that it's in that direction down there. Sometimes Peter does treat me as a bit of a mind reader. And um, yeah, I wonder if Peter was the driver of the tractor at the time. He'll probably blame it on his workers. Should I ask him? Do I dare? Yeah, I think I'll ask him. Right, okay, there's JCB. Uh, I'll park out the way. I'll go over here. Hopefully nobody needs to use a flail mower at this time of year. They shouldn't do. Don't think there's any workers at this farm. I guess all of his workers are busy. That can be the only reason why he asked for me. So yeah, I don't think we need a trailer or anything. We will just trundle down the road and see what we can find. At least I know he's in this direction because I've already been the other way, all the way to the end of this road. Hope it's not too far though because it is a slow machine this. Really slow machine. Nice little cottage there. That's the woods where we got the wood from for making the workshop. Okay, is he around this bend? He's most likely going to be on a bend, isn't he? Because he's obviously flipped it. There he is. Flipped it whilst trying to get back to the yard quickly. And, oh, the trailer isn't completely on its side. Okay. Peter, what have you done? Oh, nothing to do with me, Win. This is one of my workers. Of course. Oh, wow. What, what happened? All right, that'll do with the questions there, Win. Let's just get this trailer uprighted, put it back onto the tractor, and then we can scoop up the mess on the road. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm not an expert in recovery, but... Wow. Uh, hopefully it's not touching that. I'll be over at the forager win. We're just a few fields away. Hmm. Okay, so Peter has left me to deal with this. Now I think we're going to have to move this tractor out of the way first of all. Uh, in fact, we should be able to just drive over this. Put it over here. And then we'll try and upright that. Although I'm thinking it's already been on its side for it to make that mess. Probably just sort of seesawing on the hedge. Alright, obviously Peter doesn't want to have anything to do with this. I think it was Peter. Yeah, okay, we've made it over there. So, switch the engine off. Somehow, push that round. Should be possible. Uh, it actually would be really good if I could turn around first. Uh, we can even um, try and level this a bit. Right. Maybe we have space to turn around here. Just got to watch this pole here because that is. It might be telephone, it might be electricity. Either way, we don't want to hit it. So, try and give it a nudge. Hope it doesn't go all the way over. Okay, that's looking good. Try not to damage the lights. Right, let's have a look at that. Yep. Well, that's an improvement, we just need to pull the drawbar around. 
and then hopefully we can put the tractor back on. So maybe this time I'll have the tractor over there so we're not blocking the road with the trailer. As soon as we can just get the tractor reattached, we should be fine. Because it looks like most of the weight is out of the trailer. It's mostly on the road. Right, so we'll give it some space. Park that there. Get back into the JCB. Alright, come on, drawbar. Let's have you around. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just scoop up a bit there. And now we can reattach the tractor to the trailer. And then we'll clean up the mess from the road. And if this is all going to fit without any kind of problems, if nothing's bent or twisted, then that was a fairly easy recovery. It was so simple, in fact, that Peter could have just admitted it was him. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. We know it was him. Right, okay. Let's tidy up. Let's watch above our heads as well, make sure we're not going to hit anything. In it goes. And now we'll clean up the rest of the road. There we go, it's all looking very clean. So we're just going to have to leave the JCB there for the time being. Because we need to go and take the tractor, I can't take both at the same time, obviously. But I think, yeah, that's all gone very well. Nothing seems to be twisted or bent. Still fits on the tractor okay. So we'll be on our way. And I think I know where his pit is. It looks clean as well, I can't see any uh, litter in it. So I think it can just go straight into the pit. He didn't say otherwise, so... I'm guessing that's where he wants it. It's not a bad tractor, this. Seems comfortable. I wish we could have more tractors on our farm. Ah, one day. Oh, good test for it, though. Pulling up the hill. That's pretty heavy. But it can do it. In its own time. Wow, Peter really does have a stunning view from his farm. From his house, in fact. Yeah, I can see where he's been tipping it. And it looks like this pit has already got a fairly good even coverage, so we just want to be putting it as neatly as possible, spreading it out as we go. This tractor's got the power. Right. A bit more on the right, I reckon. Wonderful. Right, just watch the barn roof. And we are done with that. So, I guess I should text Peter. Uh, if he's on foot, then maybe he can bring back the JCB. So we'll just text him very quickly. Sent him a text. It's been about five minutes now. No text returned. So, I better start walking. We'll go with the intention of picking up the JCB, but hopefully we pass him on route. Almost there. Uh, now he texts me. Oh, 
don't worry about it, Win. I'll return the JCB. <laughs> I've just walked all this way. I'm returning it. I'm not walking back. Ugh. Forget about it, Peter. Let's roll. I'll tell him when we get back to the farm. Yep, no way am I walking all the way down here and then walking back again. So I'll just put it back where I got it from. But that is a nice quick cleanup operation, which went very smoothly. Ah, oh, now there's no stopping him. Texting me. Oh, wait. I've got it. Ugh. Right, I'll just respond to him, and then we'll get back to my farm. Good. Right, Peter's happy. No mention of payment, or even thank you, though. Which is surprising. Doesn't hurt to say thank you. Uh, doing him a favour. He's done me plenty of favours. But I, I think he's changed a bit, you know, recently. He just doesn't seem quite as nice as he once appeared. Uh, especially with the amount he's charging Penny for the workshop. Maybe he's just stressed. He, he's obviously going through a very busy period. The, the farm is flat out, trying to get this uh, maze done. It's already pretty late in the season for it. Anyway, I'll get back. Go and speak to Penny, see how she's getting on with the tractor. I like that she uh, allows me to jump for the queue. She works on my tractors before anybody else's. Looking forward to my pizza tonight as well. I always thought that Penny liked cheese and tomato. She likes to mess with me. Right, oh, what's Dennis doing? Alright, Dennis. Hey, name and intentions. What are you talking about, Dennis? Win and me drive to farm. Oh, well, I don't see you on my list. List? What are you talking about? Security. Security? Come on, Dennis, don't mess me around. Oh, well, if you're not on the list, you're not entering. What's all this about? Oh, well, I'm afraid I'm not authorised to tell you that. What's got into you, Dennis? All right. Some bloke called Flitch died here. We don't want any more intruders. No, we don't, Dennis. That's why I'm here, trying to enter my own farm. Oh, it's Wynn. Oh, for crying out <laughs> oh, Just messing with you, Wynn. Just testing the system. Go on right on through. Thank you, Dennis. Hey, slow down. Five miles per hour. What are you telling me to slow down? Oh, dear. Well, at least the farm now has a security guard. Even if he's not very good. Right, now on to more important matters. Penny and the tractor. That looks like she's uh, working on it at the moment. Looking good. Let's just pull over here. How did you get on, Penny? It's all fixed. I've also tightened up the clamp on your main pipe. Ooh, sounds painful. On the tractor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, come on then, Penny. Let's go. Let's get some pizza. Uh, excuse me? Aren't you forgetting something? Uh... I don't work for free, you know. Oh yeah, sorry. Here you go. And the pizza's on me. Thank you, Wim. Okay. We'll just park this here for today. Fifty pounds. Very reasonable. Just help Penny lock up. That's the lights off. Right. Let's go. Now don't be too alarmed, Penny. We do have our own security guard now. Dennis is checking everybody who enters the premises. Oh. He's gone. He's slacking again. Good pizza, Penny. Delicious. Lovely. Oh. Is your pizza still delicious? Who's put that there? Well, if he was still around, I would say Flitch. But I really don't know. It stinks! 